Oh my gosh, yeah, that's a lot of bait. <laughs> you ready? We're gonna double up. You got him? Oh, is that a good one? Oh, dude, he slammed it. Oh, God, they're good ones too. Yo, what's poppin', boys and girls, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, just got back from iCast. We had a great time. I will have to say that uh, the Bassmaster Classic has to be my favorite. I just love going there, meeting a ton of supporters. It's just a lot of fun to me. But, the, but iCast was fun. You know, it's just a bunch of industry people. It's very private invite. So, but we had a good time and we're finally back doing some fishing. I'm excited about it today. Got my man Fletcher What's with me. What's going on, guys? You guys want to check out Fletcher's channel? I'll link him down below. But we're going to go out here today. We got a little bit of wind, bluebird skies. It actually feels great. Dude, it feels good with the wind today. I think the crank and bite might be hot today. It might be wind. fire. You know, this spot, it's looking juicy. Um, we were thinking about where to come, and Fletcher actually put in here last week, and he caught some really good fish. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to get out here, hunt for these bass, and more importantly, try to catch these big ones. It's going to be a blast. Let's hop on the boat and get it started. All right, Fletcher, you ready? All I gotta right. get on first. Do we have everything? Let Slide. me double check. Hold on. Needed my agua. I got you. I think we're solid. Oh. Head on. You good? Yeah. <laughs> No just, falling I'm in. Wait, I'm waiting for that one day where I just push off too hard and you go right in. <laughs> <laughs> It'll happen, I'm sure. Hopefully not with the big camera. <laughs> Hopefully that manages to stay in the boat. So we're going to start off cranking, guys. We're going to fish right out here in the middle. There's a lot of fish to stack up. we got some wind today, and I think it's going to position this fish good. I think they're going to bite. It's going to turn this crank bite on with that wind flowing up in here. Got a bunch of wind pushing up in this bank, too. This grass is going to be really good And some of these laydowns. If you guys want to check out any of the baits or rods I'm using in this video, I'll have my link and discount code down below. You can go get anything off the Striking and Lose website. So we're going to go ahead and rig this up. I'm actually going to put this on my custom black and Mach 1 combo. I was going to rig it up on the kick in their bass combo, but I have a Texas rig on there and I think I'm just going to keep that on and uh, throw this bad boy right here. This is going to be better off for me cranking. There's a good chance they might be pushed up closer if it looks like a whip or something too. Yeah. Closer to the edge. I think we start off here. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, we'll figure it out really quick. It's not like it's, there's that much area for them to be at. I feel like if we fish it for 15 minutes, we'll have a good idea. All right, here we go, guys. I gotta set up this reel. I've only thrown the fluke on this bad boy. This is a brand new line and also a brand new reel. So gotta get everything set up right, especially with this wind today. Usually what you'll notice if you put some new line on a reel, it's gonna cast a lot better, but sometimes it can take a second to get it dialed in and even get the line just all tightened up and thrown right, so. Get this thing rigged up, start casting, and see if we can get started on these cranks. And we'll switch up to something else here in a bit. And if this isn't working. Right behind us. Yeah, they should be out here, dude, with this wind. Should be able to eat really good. I feel like once we fire a few of them up. If they're not here, we could just go over there. Yeah. seen like globs of bait yet though but i'm not feeling like super promising on this spot yet um but i feel like once we find that shad yeah definitely find the fish okay. i marked a few on the edge of that hump they were sitting right on top
See it on the corner up there? Is that bait or bugs? Oop, I got him. Yep. Finally. Feels like a decent one too, dude. He clobbered it. Uh, Took us a second. Yeah. It came, that bait came up and popped up right next to us. I think it's a small one. That's not a bad one. Not bad. Dude, not bad at all. That's a that's a pretty good one. <laughs> it ain't too bad. It's it's so funny because sometimes you'll get them on that crankbait and you get them hooked so weird. That's oh, not a bad one. That one's got a fish, I got a part of this. Oh man. Dynamic duo. I'm about to say, if you can get your cast back, he's not he's pretty fat too. <laughs> I mean that's what that's a two-pounder. Fat guy. That's a good one. Not bad. Yeah, they sometimes you hook them so weird on that crankbait and they just don't fight. Or they have their mouth open and it gets all the water in yeah. there. I don't know. Not a bad fish, guys. First one today. Nice little two pound bass on the crankbait. We started off with these crankbaits, but we'll end up switching up here later in the day. But we're just seeing what we, can, what we can put together. We started off down there. There was a lot of wind pushing up in that corner, but we couldn't see any bait over there. And Fletcher saw a little bit of bait on this graph right over here where it's calm. And then we actually saw some bait flickering at the top and sure enough got this bad girl to bite. Thank you, baby. First fish today. Get back in there. Oh my God. I don't even know. I was looking That is at... not what you want, dude. No, I think Look that at is... this. You I just gonna call it? I, 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 <laughs> I don't know if that one's worth messing with. <laughs> well, our uh, uh, cranking rod is out of commission. I can throw this crankbait on something else. <laughs> I was not paying attention. I was looking at Noah catching some fish. Oh, you got another one? Yeah, I think we're going to be firing them up oh now. God. They're right. sitting right down there. <laughs> right, right as I. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm going to throw a drop. Look at, it. Look at them barely hooked. I'm going to throw a drop. Oh, try it. There, and that should just. There you go. Perfect. I honestly wanted that fish to do that. All right. You do that, I'll drop you. All right. I think we're firing. No, fire them up. You'll catch them on that drop, though. That was a two casts in a row. I had that one hooked in a. Dude, right when I hit the bottom, just load it up on it again. So Fletcher is gonna switch up to the droppy. I think you're gonna catch him on it good though. I think so. Yeah. I'll throw two two different things. I think this crankbait would be firing him up. That's the thing. That was the sad part about that cast that you backlashed on too, because I was like, you're probably gonna throw in there and, and get hooked up now. I was literally just <laughs> hardcore stared at your fish and I just was not paying attention and just let it let it rip. Yeah. Dude, that's like a huge, dude, that's not a shad. Yeah, that's a bass. <laughs> Whole, look at him. Oh my <laughs> gosh, dude, that bird, this bird over here, guys, has a fish that's a solid 15 inches hanging out of his mouth. Look at him just walking around with it. Like, what is he gonna even do with that? <laughs> like he's trying to figure it out. That's ridiculous. He's just like rinsing it off in the water. I, they have to swallow this hole, don't they? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how he's, Look at him, dude. That is a bass. Must have been like a dead bass or something. I highly doubt he. I'm impressed if he actually got that thing alive. <laughs> Probably did. I don't think they eat dead fish. Honestly, that's impressive. Guys, we got a school of fish up here. I saw it earlier and I just thought it may, might have been some wind. And then Fletcher just saw it. He's like, is that bait? And they just started. <laughs> and then what just blew up on it. That answers our question. Do you got something you can? Um, I'm gonna throw the drop shot in there. Honestly. Yeah, they'll eat it. They should eat it. eat it. I'm just gonna fish it, just pop it aggressively. Yeah. We never catch them under this bridge. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's a lot of bait. <laughs> you ready? We're gonna double up. I think the, I think the bait might have been eaten. Oh. You got him? Oh, is that a good one? Oh, dude, he slammed it. Oh, God, they're good ones, too. Yours was big. Oh, gosh. Come over here. Dude, that's a good one. All right, hook one. That one that you had, I think, was good, too. I mean, this isn't like a monster, but dude, this is a solid two and a half. All right, buddy. Dude, he hammered it, too, dude. Like, not even. Oh, my God, yeah. There we go, guys. Right behind us, that school went underneath us. There we go, guys. Look at that. That's a good little fish. Fletcher had one on. He was pulling your. Yeah, I know you have your drag yeah, loose, but. There so. we go. Look at that. That's not a bad one. Two, two, two and a half solid. pounder. That He's long good. and just fat. Nice, buddy. Thank you. My third one on a crankbait. They're down there. This is the bait we saw. 
All right, if I get a bite this cast, I don't know, I think you'll get it. Did he hammer it or he just load up on it? I know there's more down there. Yep. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah, they're good ones too, bro. <laughs> you just like, just tie on. Tie, you gotta tie on. <laughs> they're down there. They're good ones too, dude. They're all like two and a half plus. Look at how they're eating it. That's exactly how that one before. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Look at that. That's a, that's a pretty fish. See that, dude, that's the thing with that crankbait bite. It just fires them up. Like I've, this is the fourth fish today and both of them were back to back. And that is just a pretty one. Solid two, two and a half. Yeah, you got it, don't you? You got it, dude, I'm telling you. Is he a biggin? Biggin? Oh, that's a fat one. All right, I'm gonna double up with you. Oh, my crankbait messed up. Dude, nice. Yeah, they're down there. Oh my goodness, guys, that was. That yeah, was I'll get you one. Hit there. Did he eat it at the boat, kind of? Uh, I kind of got underneath those. I know there's more down there. Did you feel how hard he hit it? Yeah. There's one. Got him. Oh, I just got slammed, Fletcher. Oh, oh that's a good fish. It's a good fish. I just got rocked. Hold on. I'm gonna double up with you. That's a good one. That's like a three pounder. Yeah, oh, he looks better. He did look better when he. I got hammered right there a second ago. Nice, dude. That's a good fish. Dude, my reel's like messing up too. It's like. No, I heard that. Just hear that yeah. Track? That was weird. I thought he yeah, came I off when he... I took my hand off the reel and it just started unspinning. No, I saw that. Oh, God! Oh. Did you see that? I've never seen nothing like that. I here, back up a little bit. They're, I think they're yeah, right here, dude. Don't go too far. Dude, that fish hammered me and I literally watched him come up like this and try to eat it again. That was oh, like almost a three. That was about the same size as yours. Maybe. Right where I landed. The bait is going nuts. This. That's exact. This is a big one. Big one? Yeah. Okay. He's running at me. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> the, the way he ate it, though, was just like... <laughs> you want to know what's funny? That cast, I kind of did a sporadic retrieve. Like, kind of sped yeah. it up really fast. He felt good. He felt like a big one. This is the bite that we wanted to get on. It took us a second to find him, but... See, I'm like reeling it really fast and I'll pause it. Kind of giving it like a poppy retreat. All right, so we just came over on this other end you know, working our way, trying to follow this bait, follow these fish. I'm gonna put on one of these lipless crank baits. It gets a little shallow over here. It's like a big flat right around this corner. It's got a couple little holes that fish will stack in, but I think this lipless right here, this red eye shad, is gonna get them a lot better. The crank bait's just been picking up a bunch of slop, and I think this would be the better option. the slab guys out here <laughs> crank dude i didn't even move my bait did oh. you see that uh, i never dude that feels like a dang good one plus yeah that's a yeah, nice fish i never reeled it i clicked my bait dude and he had it <laughs> he is fighting like a crazy man i mean it was a full cast Dude, he, he might be good. He looks saw... like he had some size. Oh, oh dude, that's a good, that's the best one today, it looks like. Right in that creek channel. Uh, oh, look at him with him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop, drop your bait. Oh. Drop your drop shot. Drop your drop, drop, drop. Oh, dude, oh, he you're still there. He went for it. Yes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let's go. Dude. That was epic. That, that's a, that's a 2021 oh. clip. That's a 2021 clip. That was awesome. You can't, dude, that's not <laughs> even fair. went straight fair. for it. <laughs> Dude, that's not even right. That was awesome. <laughs> Mine's barely hooked. 
He said, give me that, boy. <laughs> Dude, that was perfect. I'm about to say, I saw him flash. He was just going right down on it, wasn't he? Yeah, he went straight for it. He turned, and I just saw his tail kick, and then stomp. <laughs> nice, look at that. A little double up. That's crazy. That fish followed this one in, and we're lucky that we saw him the second time. You know, you usually see him one time and they spook, but he stayed around. Yeah, he was hanging out. He wanted oh, to take that dude. trap out of his mouth. <laughs> Had to give him the next best thing. Let's go. That was nice. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Guys, that was crazy. That was like, <laughs> that's going to be like one of the highlight clips of 2021. That was pretty crazy. That was epic. I mean, the fish wasn't big. I wish he was like big with him, like a I three, know. four okay. pounder. But I mean, heck, that was crazy. I'll take that. I showed there was some fish out there stacked yeah, up. I bet you they're just in that creek channel, man. It just drops off really fast into like seven, eight foot from like two foot. Yeah, they're that little tiny right hole. That you that were was like just... hugging it farther that side. Yeah. Which is, I think, like kind of right where the, the edge is. Dude, that was just all on out a weird catch. Like it, I never cranked my reel. <laughs> like I threw it and I let it sink a second because I was like, I'm going to work it on the bottom. I clicked my reel and he just already had it. It's like it fell down next to his head and he just, just, just yeah. I talk about retying all the time, it's so important. And uh, what I noticed when I caught that fish, right here, there's a little spot, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this hook got tangled up all around it and kind of frayed my line. So we're gonna go ahead and retie. I'm telling you it's worth retying because one, you don't get, he won't lose the lure and two, you won't lose the fish. Last thing we want to do right now is hook like a five, six pounder and then watch it break off. That would just upset me. So, you got to play it smart, retie. If you guys are wondering what I'm tying, it's a standard uni knot. My favorite knot of all time. I'm tie right on there. We're good to go. All right, we're whipping out the kicking combo real quick. We just came back to where we were. You know, we we're catching all these fish right next to this bridge. I don't really see the bait that we saw, but it can only go so far. I'm gonna flip this crawl towards some of the shade and these lay downs, see if there's anything up in there. I'll assume there's a few fish up in that stuff. Oh, I got one. <laughs> what in the world? You got a big one? He come off? You got him. That's what I'm saying. They slapped the heck out of that crankbait. That fish is not tiny. This fish is tiny. <laughs> Look at this. This fish is no bigger than seven inches. Did you see that? That was a boil, yeah. That was Big a little boil. small bass. They were like six inches. Oh, no, you got them. <laughs> Dude, what in the world's up with these tiny ones? <laughs> Dude, though, an army of them came after that thing. There was probably like six or seven little micros. Interesting. I know there's some out here. I just marked a ton back there. Right behind us? Wait, like a ton. Get back over there. Just they're literally hugging the bottom as tight as they can. You might want to put that 3XD back on. Yeah. Oh. Got one. Yeah. Feels like a good one, dude. It's coming out. Oh gosh, dude. I think that's a really big one. I didn't really get a good look on him, but I can't tell yet. He don't feel like. I'm just kind of lugging him in. Yeah, he's a big one, dude. Oh, yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice one. That's a big one. God. That's all good. Yeah, if you can grab him. I got him under the chin. <laughs> yeah, that's four. Four. Grab him by the belly. You'll do it. <laughs> or you can grab him by the head. Nice, dude. That's the ones we're looking for. That's the best one so far today. Guys, there we go. Finally got us a big one today. That's exactly what we wanted. And uh, Fletcher was just talking about, we saw some on the bottom right back there. He saw it on his graph. And uh, I was chucking out here towards the middle because we've caught him really good. And I chucked that trap on the bottom. He's like, maybe you should put on that 3XD. And then this thing just gets ripped out of my hand. About a Ford Pounder. That's a, that's a great fish right there. That's the ones we're looking for, brother. Give me some. Yeah. Let's get it. On that red eye shad, that gold body, black back. Oh yeah, the T-tap. 
Look at that. That's a good fish. That's what we're waiting on, dude. Now we just need a few more. Yeah, buddy. There she goes. I had her hooked all weird, dude. I was like, I'm pretty positive when she came up that it's a big one. But I was like, it doesn't feel like she's it. She's just hooked weird. I, just the way she's fighting with it, her hooked like on the bottom. Yeah, it's like right mouth. there. But that was good, man. Let's get another yeah, one. Buddy. Well, there we go, guys. That's exactly what we wanted. We wanted a fish like that. And sure enough, we got her. Let's see if there's some more down here. Huh. Might just be hanging all out there in the middle, dude. I know. That's what it looks like. Uh oh. That's him, buddy. Oh my gosh, he came off. That was him. It was a big, and I never felt him bite it. He was just walking with it. That was that was a big fish. I stuck him too. Why does it? Why do we always miss this fish? I don't know. We're always so like anticipating them too. You know what I mean? Dude, that was a good. That was a good bass. I felt him for two seconds. He wouldn't even move. Dude, hold on, hold on. Big and dude. No, he's not the big one, but gosh, feels freaking. I'm so used to this crankbait fish. Okay, well something. <laughs> Had to work it really slow. I don't think that's that one that bit it before, but he was walking with it too. Here we go, nice little fish, guys. First one on a soft plastic today. <laughs> 